Hey guys, it's Steve with Lakeside Forge. Today we're out um, and we're going to practice and do some drilling through steel. So, hope y'all guys learn something. So, basically, first of all, you want to have a pair of safety glasses around. Always wear safety glasses because this throws little metal shards and they're very sharp. I've had them stuck in the bottom of my foot before. They aren't pleasant. Nonetheless, to think how they would feel in my eye. So, first of all, um, just because I want to be professional for the video, I'm going to measure um, my distance, my the uh, width of the piece of material, or whichever way I'm drilling it. Then I'm going to find half of it, since I want to put a hole in the middle. I'm going to mark it with my scribe. Alright, got half. Then get my center punch, put it where I want on my scribe, scribe line. Sorry for that jolt. I have a nice little mark. So, now time to head over to the drill press. So, just rotate you a little bit here. Put you right there. Alright, and you ought to be able to see all the things that are happening. So, first of all, we're going to get our little drill bit. And since um, this, I you can drill pilot holes, and for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to use a pilot hole. Normally, if you drill anything uh, a little bit more thick than half an inch, I would, at least. Or even three-eighths of an inch. I would uh, I'd do a pilot hole. Okay, and um, so you get your piece and you line up your itty bitty drill bit with the hole so that way you don't drill a hole into your plate. Alright, now you get your safety glasses, you put them on. And um, you need to have some oil. And since I don't have very good oil, I'm just going to use some WD 40 which works, it's a multi-purpose, but um, cutting fluid or anything like that works well too. I just got my light over here so I can see. Alright, and um, smaller drill bits you'll probably want to run a little faster than a larger one. And uh, normally you would have a vise, but I don't, so I can't use one. So I'm going to just have to hold it. But go very slow. You can't go too fast or you'll screw it up or break your drill bit. piece of steel and I'll come over here let me grab a rag real quick wipe all this metal crap off so you can see I got a pretty little pilot hole you can see that fairly well you got a nice little pilot hole so next to go up to the drill bit that you're gonna want to drill your original hole or the size hole that you would want and boy that drill bit is hot I just let it fall down there put them back over there 
there. In these little metal shard things that I'm talking about, I don't know if I have any on the floor. Yes, I do. This is with a larger drill bit, but that's what they're going to kind of look like. Okay? The little swirlies. Yeah, it's not focusing. There you go. You see that? Little swirlies. They kind of look like a curly fry, so uh, I use those. And uh, when you see those, that's you know you're pressing down enough, or you aren't pressing down too much. And then for the next part, put your new drill bit in, adjust your plate to the depth. It's good. You probably a little bit out of the shot. This time we'll try and do a close up. Right about like that. You ought to be able to see it really well. So, oil it up. Probably won't have to oil it as much this time. Make sure you line it up. swirlies I was talking about and um, it didn't get a little oil at the end and it started to you know squeak make some noise and if you hear that you just want to um, you want to be able to take it off and um, take it off and put a little oil on it but here we got a nice clean hole fairly centered let me uh, give this a hit on the center Oh crap, guys, I just blew a fuse. So, um, well, I'll get back with y'all later. But since I cannot see anything, I'm going to try to get back into my light. And that's another thing. Don't run too many appliances off the same thing. Have a tendency to blow fuses. So, I'm really focused here, so I just blew a fuse. I'm sorry about that. I'll see y'all later.